was gonna go to a junior college in Virginia, Richard Bland, but I didn't have enough um, grades to get to the school. Uh, that being said, I was gonna go back to Brazil because you know I couldn't go to any school actually. And then the head coach from Richard Bland um, knew Chris Grassi, who you know opened the doors and told me that I had to take a few English class in order to get eligible. So that's when I took the shot, you know, into Charleston. Uh, couldn't play my freshman year. And then, you know, was really blessed to go for like back-to-back -back, um, National Final Four games, you know, 2016, 2017. Um, you know, and then once Grassi moved to, to Marshall, um, I knew, you know, I was going to transfer to Division One school. That's when I talked to him and then he brought me here. There were three games left for the regular season. And I'm like, what if we don't make the playoffs or something? I'm just going to play three, four games and that's it. I'm going to lose my, my season. He said, well, you can actually, you know, like play three, four games and that's it. Or you can keep doing well and go all the way to the final. So, you know, I trust him and I trust the team and I saw a lot of potential on the players and that's when we made to the National Final Four in 2016 and that's when I met Christina. So, uh, it was definitely meant to be and, you know, like next year, the National Final Four was in Kansas again and by the time I heard that, I was like, we're making that again, you know, I, just like I had a feeling. So, you know, it helped a lot and that's when you know like I had that feeling it was meant to be. When Chris gave me the offer to come to Marshall, I'm like I knew how big Marshall was and I was like I trusted him in terms of I knew if something happened to me or my family or whatever, he was gonna step up and fight for me, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't have that feeling going to Costa. So that was like the main key to, you know, switch my mind and come to Marshall. In Charleston, I had that feeling that we were unbeaten, you know, like no one could beat us. And I'm actually, you know, having the same feeling with Marshall, you know, from this season, you know, like the beginning of the season. So beating FIU and, you know, beating like Kentucky twice in Charlotte, it was just like a confirmation of my thought. You know, Marshall is definitely part of me, you know, and Every opportunity that, that I have to come back here and cheer for Dan and being with Dan, you know, like definitely I'll be here. I don't know, you know, hopefully I'll take the next step and play pro. That's, you know, my dream. That's what I've been um, working hard for. So, you know, hopefully I'm going to, you know, get on the MLS draft next year and go from there. Comes back for Ostrom. Took a touch on its way in. Clean and toward goal and tipped over by Pita. Great save. And... Bodily goes for goal. Pita knocks it wide for a corner. Soto slides it through. Loose in the area and another brilliant stop from Pita. Into space here for Townsend, who's onside. Townsend, a touch to control, fires over Pita and sends it high. Townsend, early ball for Miglietti. Miglietti gets the redirect that comes off the post. You know, my expectations for sure was at least to get picked on the second round. Um, I didn't know, I didn't want to wait until the next week, you know, I think that was going to be crazy. But so my expectation was to be picked at least on, um, on the second round. But, you know, like I said, when I heard my name in the first round, I was like, well, you know, I was shocked, but happy at the same time. LA, it's a different place. Um, you, I mean, it, it's a very busy place, so you actually need to adapt yourself quick when you make that kind of move. Uh, but, you know, the first and second day of preseason, I was still like, what was, go what was what's going on, you know? It was still like a dream coming true, a dream coming true. And, you know, everything was new, so I felt like lost a little bit at the beginning, but then I got used to it very quick. I think uh, I was happy because I actually ended up in a really good team, a really good uh, USL team as well. So, you know, very good uh, infrastructure. Uh, the team, you know, was good. So I think uh, I ended up where I had to be. You know, my wife's still working, so she gets back home about six. So I'm trying to, and I stay at home with my son all day. 
and uh, whenever she's back, I try to get some exercise going on. Uh, you know, trying to keep my mind uh, on my goal uh, because it's like it's easier to get comfortable and lazy. You know, so I'm trying to I'm trying as hard as I can to keep my my mind set for my for my goal. It's like another dream coming true because uh, when I first came to the United States, that was my goal, and I knew it was going to take some time. And I tried to make the most out of my college career, and I did. And I, I knew that if I accomplish all the goals that I set on my on my freshman year for my college career, I knew if I if I accomplished each goal, um, I was gonna make it. So I did, um, and I think it was just like a consequence from my hard work through college, my college career.